Hi folks, it's Wednesday today. Let's have a little update vlog for the middle of the week. I've been doing quite a few things. See you in a minute. Right, here we are in the log cabin. I've been busy, I've been doing some t-shirt videos and some training tutorials on one of my other channels. But as you know, I want to get this engine back together. And uh, let's show you what I've been up to so far. Well, as I showed in my last video, I've got the uh, pistons back in and uh, that's all working fine. I've now got the timing chain put back on. Someone did mention that maybe the front bracket might need changing and Dan Clift on Facebook, who's also done a conversion on a Reliant Regal, stated try this on the actual chassis first of all and see if it does line up i took the bracket outside and put it on the chassis and these do line up these are the front engine mounting so i was okay at putting that on i ordered the gasket set as you know and i've also as you know painted the uh timing chest cover as well and also fitted the new seal in there as you can probably see there so that bracket's now back on and uh, i'm at the stage now where i wanted to put the sump on but i didn't have a sump gasket so I went out and paid £23 for a bottom end gasket set and I've also taken this sump now which has been painted now, I've actually sandblasted that and as you can see I've covered it up inside and the inside was lovely and fresh anyway but uh, that's now been painted in black and uh, that is tough black paint, I can't remember the name of it but I mean it should do the job anyway. So that can go back on there once I've uh, got the gasket out and I've also got the uh, rear crankshaft seal as well obviously to go in there as well so I've got that to sort out as well the parts are slowly getting down and down I've also got the um, prop shaft at the back there which I've got the new bearings for which I didn't realize I had the new universal joints as I said before so that's the remainder of the bottom part of the uh, gasket set there I've still got a few gaskets there obviously to change but yeah things are coming on well I wasn't going to show the ins and outs of me actually putting every part of the engine together as I say it's not a how-to people are out there no, it don't need me to tell them out the suck eggs at the end of the day. There's people who are far more experienced to rebuild an engine and show exactly what they, uh, the principles involved are. So this is just me doing my job, and I want to get the engine back in the chassis so that we can get the thing back together again. So as you probably know, I've still got the Trotter lawnmower to put back together. I wanted to get these brackets, as you can see here, stripped down. I couldn't do it last week because I've actually lent me a little stove for me uh, heating up with me caustic soda solution. But I've got it back now. As you can see, these brackets here, for example, they really want sorting out. They really want replacing. So I'm going to be doing them. What? Yeah. Hold on, Sharon's calling me. Come out here. Come in here, baby. Why? Oh, she's got it. Come on, let's go outside. Let's go outside. She's got me something. What have you done for me here, baby? Deflated my... <laughs> Deflated let, mushroom. Oh, it's one of our ketogenic meals, isn't it? I let it go on too long, I forgot. We've got... Big mushrooms, you'll put cheese in it, haven't you? You've got Stilton on your... Oh, I love a bit of Stilton, and also some tomatoes in there as well. Well, I'm going to have this, I forgot what I was going to tell them now. Oh yeah, uh, my next video on retro hacks. Thanks a lot for all of you who went over there and actually viewed it. Now, my restoration video on the flame gun. Uh, that was a big help also. And I will say, talk slightly off subject, I'll start about that in a minute. I was telling you about my YouTube views and how they went down and down and how I couldn't see any comments come up. This has been going on, as I say, for about a month now, or whatever. I was on it the other night, and suddenly... On it like a car bonnet. On it like a car bonnet. Suddenly, the little uh, red icon come up that I had loads of messages. So it started working again. That's nothing I'd done. I don't know whether YouTube have been holding my messages back or whatever, but for some reason, it just started. And now every comment that comes up, I now see again. It gives me a little indication, and I can click on that indication and go straight to the comment. So I don't know what's, what was happening with my YouTube channel, but it seems to be come back to life, so to speak. So let's hope my views start to go up again. I don't know whether it was something that's, uh, was they were held back people for a certain amount of time or whatever. I don't know, because it's already time. I haven't got a clue. But... Hopefully we're back to normal, baby. Mm -hmm. Let's hope so. So yeah, what I'm going to be doing now on Retro Hacks, my next restoration channel, you know them Honda engines I brought as a job lot? Well, I'm going to pull one of them up and I'm going to just try and get it going. There won't be no talking or nothing, but... Uh, oh, how lovely. Eh? Hey? A lot of people like to hear my talking baby. Live with him. Eh? Hey? Can you say something? Why have a bite of my uh, no, mushroom? No, I don't want to. I'm too busy eating my lunch. Come on. I was told not to talk while you eat. Come on. Oh. Actually, we don't really oh. do, and we, we don't talk. 
We do love our food. They can see. Eh? Hey? So they can see. Yeah, but we still have the odd treat. But we really don't eat a lot of carbs now, definitely refined carbs, so that wind's gonna come out on that mic, I know it is showing. I'll have to get one of those what they call a wind. That is that top. wind and that wind. Well that's later on after this, isn't it? That wind. But no, the wind uh, sock, I should get one. But the thing is, it intrudes on the view, on the vision, on the view. Yeah? It's your birthday soon, it's baby's birthday mm. soon. Isn't it? Yeah. Oh, Chris, uh, I think, Scottish Prepper, if you're watching Chris, I think I read in your message you're going to be sending us a little treat for the dogs, I think he said. Because remember you mentioned it in our last shout out Sunday. But uh, yeah, Chris is going to send some more little treats for the dogs. He, he does like the dogs. In fact, everybody likes the dogs. Some, What's not so like some people they, say, baby, on. that the dogs are the star of the show, they and are. not us. They are. And I agree. I fully agree. Don't get lovelier than bison We're and We're just there to fill in the spaces, baby. Anyway. So yeah, I'm going to be doing one of those Honda engines. It won't be no talking. So if people say in the comments, oh, you know, oh, oh we like it when you talk. Well, that's for this channel. That's for Retro Restore. So. I'm going to be changing a few Can I things. Can go on retro hacks, then? Eh? Can I go on retro hacks? Why? You was on retro hacks, baby. But you don't talk. We have that's loads of people. I'm, that's the one for me. We have loads of people who enjoy our cooking videos, the ones who watch them. But unfortunately, there's such a big market out there, we just can't break that down. And we don't get many views. And it really takes a lot of production to produce them, oh, yeah, it does. them cooking videos, believe it or not. Whoa. More so than the videos I do, because we have to take the kitchen over and. We've got to have extra lighting, we've got to have extra microphones in there and stuff like that. Oh, look at that mic moving, look, it's going to be really windy, baby. We'll have this. We'll let, let's, let us eat this and I'll see you in a minute. Hey, mm. Cup of tea, baby. Come on. See you in a minute. Right, so as you probably know here, I've got these Honda engines down here. And uh, I'm going to have to choose one, obviously, to repair. That one I know has been in water, that's been submerged in water. So I'm not sure whether that will make a good candidate. Although I do want to get around to that one. I do want to see if it can come back to life. But that's very, very stiff. That f that's the choke mechanism there, look. So I don't know. Um, this one's got a pull cord on it. Um, this might do the job, I don't know. Did it turn over? It does turn over. It's got a pulley on the back there. Uh, some sort of pump mechanism, but... Uh, so I'm going to hopefully turn some of these into a goat cart engine or something like that, or motorise a push bike or whatever. I think something like this will be ideal to motorise a... Uh, I've got a Schwinn Stingway... Stingway... Stingray uh, push bike around there, Jimmy's, which is all rusted and all that. That might make a good little uh, project to motorise, that sort of thing. So one of these hopefully will be doing that. I might choose this one, actually, this, this little Honda here, simply because it's got a pull cord there, tank... Everything seems to be there, so uh, yeah, I think I'm going to choose this one. Although the back is open, as I say, but uh, pulley might be able to come off, and I think that should reveal a shaft on it, maybe. Let's have a look. So, taking a little look at it, it's a little, um, I think it's 2.5 horsepower Honda engine here, electronic ignition, which is always handy. And looking around it, it's very, very rusty, obviously. I don't know any, I've got no history on this whatsoever. Let's have a little look inside the tank. Well, the tank's surprisingly clean inside. Just got a bit of dirt residue. I'm not too worried about that, but uh, I think this will be our little project for our next Retro Hacks video. So if you're interested in seeing if I can get this going, do pop over to Retro Hacks and have a look, and I'll be uploading this one pretty shortly, I would imagine. So that's the one I'm going to be doing on there. Yeah, I'm going to go with that one. So as I say, coming up in the very near future is going to be the uh, Trotter Lawnmower. I want to get that back together now. I've got my plating kit all set up and uh, back together. I've got some sandblasting to do on them little brackets there. It'd be nice just to see that. I don't know whether I'm going to keep that lawnmower yet. I'm not too sure yet. I've had a lot of interest in that one actually. So uh, it may get sold, it may get kept. I don't know yet. And uh, can't wait to get this engine, as I say, back together. It's sitting in the chassis. I've still got some other parts to buy for that. I need a new um, clutch, has got to go in it. I need a starter motor. I think this one's got a starter motor. I've got to make the alterations to the gearbox uh, lever mechanism, which is uh, something which we're going to have to do pretty near. I don't know anything about the gearbox that was already there, uh, apart from it did work, so it was a runner. And uh, as you know, so we're going to be changing that over as well. I just want to get this engine back up to uh, assembled and all back together, basically. So that's where we are with that at the moment. Things are pushing on nicely. And uh, yeah, there we go. So uh, I've been pretty busy. And coming over into the corner there, we've also got this 
TGB 50 RX scooter to uh, refurbish as you can see I did strip that down I think I did five videos on that but uh, then obviously it got put to the back burner but all the parts were up here we had a problem with the engine on that one as you know and I actually brought a new crankshaft which is in there I brought a new barrel which is I think was it a 60cc barrel I'm not too sure that was the old existing one which there was actually nothing wrong with but uh, what did I buy here let's have a look Again, I don't know. There we go. I'm not too sure. I might say on it. I'm not sure. There we go. Can't see any writing on it, but the piston's in there. As you can see, brand new piston, brand new bore, small end and gudgeon pin and circuits are all in there. As I say, I've had this for a long time, so that's got to be installed. And also over here as well. I did purchase a new crank because it was actually the crank that had, uh, broke on it so I brought both, I bought the top end kit as well and there you can see there's the brand new crank the two bearings there to go in and obviously the new crank seals as well so that's all to go on so that's a project still waiting to happen sitting over there in the corner as you can see nice to have new parts to put back on it don't say on there, I thought it would have said if it was a 50 or a 60, I could measure it I suppose well, let's have a look at it compared to the original. Wait there, original board. Does it look bigger? Yeah, I think it does, doesn't it? Or is it just an illusion? Let me go and get the calipers. Wait there. Right. So here's the old one there. Let's put that in there first of all. Right. That's in there now, which is about. Oh, it's gone off. <laughs> I don't say the battery's flat. Well, anyway, that goes in there like that. So that's the old one. Oh no, there you go, look. There's a big gap, so that's got to be a 60 or 70cc kit. So it is bigger than the original. That's obviously a 49 or 50cc. And that one is obviously, as you can see, quite a bit bigger actually. It might be a 70cc kit, I'm not too sure. But, uh, oh, that's handy. I didn't, didn't know that. I didn't know I bought that. So uh, that's going in there. That should make it a little bit more perky as well. Might have to do some uh, work with the variator weights and stuff like that on that. For the extra power i'm not too sure yet but uh that's something else we're going to be looking at so there you go yeah plenty plenty going on at the moment but uh, obviously this is just a little update vid we are doing the shout out sunday again on sunday that seems to be going down pretty well you like that you like me and sharon just talking a bit of rambling and me showing other stuff as well it's not just all about the shout outs i normally put the shout outs at the end of the video uh the front part of the video is normally a bit of a vlog to be honest with you so that's what that's all about and yeah, hope you're enjoying the videos. Don't forget to have a look at the Retro Hacks channel if you want to see me do a silent restoration, or not, not so much a restoration, but getting that little engine running. I'm not too sure if I'm going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be too sure if it needs parts or whatever. We'll give it a go anyway. And that's on my other channel, Retro Hacks. So do check it out and get over there. Well, next to the subscribe button, hit that little bell. And every time I put a new video up, you'll see it basically. Because as I say, we never know when YouTube are playing up because a lot of people say they don't see the videos come up in their feed. If you hit that little bell button next to the uh, subscribe button, you're bound to see the videos come up. Anyway, that's enough from me today. Hope you've enjoyed this little update vlog, and we'll see you in the next video. And until then, bye for now. <laughs>